What is going on everybody? I know it's been a while and you already know who it is and in case you've forgotten after a month and a half of me going missing, my name is JPSS and if you don't know already and if you're you're new to this channel, this uh, I use the Share Factory editing tool on the PlayStation Store to edit most of my videos and if you're not new to this channel and you know that is so annoying and you know how I operate, you know this is what I've been using, and since I haven't been on in about a month and a half, they've added some new things, and I'm really not too sure what's going on, so I, I consider myself a pro. If you look back at my other videos, I pretty much mastered this shit, but stop it. That thing is so annoying, that little buzzing, like they think they're cool. So we're going to take a look and see what's new real quick. So they apparently they added this new feature called Play Recently Captured at the bottom right, so I'm about to check that out right now. Okay, didn't remember that that blocks the recording, so sorry I can't show you that. But I will put the clip in there right now. Um, okay, so we're going to... Now we're going to take a look at some of the new things. My new project that I'm going to be working on, I'll be working on a Fortnite video. So they added some new themes, I downloaded them already. Um, we're just going to go with the use, uh, my use filter that I always do. Uh, <laughs> I remember this. Okay, so we're just going to, I'm going to put all my Fortnite clips in here. This, if you guys don't know, this is how I usually do stuff. So I'm just going to see how this works. Actually, you guys are seeing firsthand how I actually edit my videos. So I don't know how I'm going to title this bitch. I don't know if, uh, how to edit or uh, all that shit. Um, so actually, I'll just skip all this and we'll go to the fun stuff. Okay, so we're loaded in. I have all the clips. Out. What the hell is this? That whole right panel is all new. Why is there a magnifying glass? What the hell does that even do? All right, well, let's take a look. So the up D-pad. Oh, let me just... Okay, so the up D-pad increases it by a tenth of a second and decreases by a tenth of a second. What does R3 do? Okay, I guess it resets it to... No, it doesn't. What does R3 do? What the... F well, that seems like a useless feature. And then L3 does something with the something or other. Oh, that must you. That must be when you toggle between the different clips. So in my other videos, I would overlay clips and music in my videos, and this must be able to let you select it at quick, quick action. So, all right, let's go check out one of those other things now. Yes, here it is. All right, we're going to try all these out. We're going to try all these out. First, we're going to put this one in there. Duration, two seconds. Now, we're going to play with it a little bit longer. Let's see what kind of new shit they can put in here. Boom. Okay. Let's see what this is. Did you say I'm quiet? Oh, oh my god. No, my, uh, no, you're good. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, let me, let me turn, hold on. Let me turn this, uh, let me turn this shit down real quick. Come on, take me out of there. Let me turn this volume down so I can... Just have some fun. I don't want to give any good secrets away yet. Cause, all right. So look at this. This is crazy. Look at that. Look how crazy that is. I can. I. I. Oh my God. The fun I'm gonna have with this. I. Every time I get mad or scream, that's what's gonna happen. I mean, it's gonna get annoying every time. But oh my God, it, some ideas are flowing in my head right now. Oh, what the fuck? Hold on. Music. What the fuck? High, medium, low. Does that mean high, medium, low, too loud? Let me, let me put in a, an audio clip. Okay. So we'll just stick that in there. Whoa! Oh, shit. This is kind of cool. What do we got here? It shows you the volume levels for each. Oh, my God. That is amazing. Does it fill it all the way up? Oh, it doesn't. It just does the full clip. Okay. All right. So it just does the full clip. So we're going to go into clone music. Oh, I know what that is. So we're going to turn this music down a little bit. Prioritize. Oh, that's right. We read in the settings you can decide what volume you want to prioritize and make louder over the other one. If you have a secondary clip and then you have music in the background, you can have the secondary clip louder than the music or the music louder than the secondary clip. I mean, I guess it's kind of helpful to have a button that does it automatically, but I've always just altered the music manually with this volume button. I've made one lower than the other. I always do my audio checks. So... There's no problem, but I guess this is kind of cool. Let's hear how it sounds. So let me see. Now we know what the blue is mid. So let's. Oh, OK. 
okay, that's cool. This is new. We haven't had this. They it it's showing us what what part of this is going to be louder than the others, so we can actually turn it down or turn it up if we need to. This is bounce. All right, let's see this bounce thing. Oh my god, that's not bouncing. That's just that's basically just this. Oh, maybe no, it's not. What would you use this for? Maybe a twerking video. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Stuff they come up with, I tell you. What's this one? This is going to be the heartbeat one, I think, coming up next. Yeah, this is good if, like, you're doing a scope-in thing, but I don't know, like, I just want to have fun with these new things. Let's see what else is here. Drift. What the hell? Why is it automatically going to go to 10? I hope you're able to... I've seen YouTubers use that editing tool before, but I never understood why they used that. It didn't doesn't make any sense. I just got a text message. Who did I get a text from? Oh, that's uh, Words with Friends. So we're going to add a new one. Let's see what these other ones are. Stomp. Oh my god, I can only imagine what that's going to look like. That, that's kind of dumb. Don't like that one. Uh, focus. I guess this... I'm going to take a guess this just zooms in. Yeah, it just zooms in. Um, and then we will add in the pulse. I feel like pulse and bounce are going to be the same thing. All right. Well, th those were pretty retarded. But uh, we'll, uh, I'm definitely going to use this one. Uh, heartbeat, maybe. I think I'm going to use this one, the Quake, way more. Maybe the Bounce. I don't know. These are pretty cool. Uh, I don't know how I feel about them. Is the text different? Text. Oh, they added new text. Look at that. Wow. Look at that, guys. Look at that. They added some new fonts. Oh, shoot, man. Nice. I mean, I've been getting tired of using the same fonts over and over again, but they added some new fonts. Dude, that's nice. They look nice. Toasty. So if I wanted to add in the one that I just showed you guys, let's see what they did to edit this. Did they give me more PP layouts? No, they didn't because they're jerks. PP settings. Nope, they didn't give me what I want. What I'm basically waiting for is the ability to alter and change the size of the little thing in the top right so I can move it and change it, but... If it's still pretty good, it's still pretty good. So let's just see how that works. Oh, not too bad. Not too bad. All right. Well, I had a lot of fun checking out these new updates. Um, I'm going to start trying to make more videos again, but the, the school uh, started back up again. So I kind of just going through my file system, seeing what I can do, thinking of ideas. So if you guys like this video and you want to see more, either tutorials on how I make my videos, if you have any questions about share file, Oh, shit. I don't know what, why I just did that. I don't know. I don't know why I just did that. I think I just bumped the button. I seriously just think I bumped the button. Sorry, I had to check something real quick. But like I said, if you guys want any tutorials, helpful hints on how to use ShareFactory, if you're upcoming YouTubers and you're really not sure what to do, make sure to drop a comment asking me a question what to do, and I'll make a video post haste on answering your question. I know some of my friends who want to try and make videos and they have ShareFactory questions, and I try and help them out, but... I've been using Share Factory for over two years now, and nothing surprises me except for this update. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next whatever I decide to make. Bye!